Borough, better late than never. Taunton Town won, Oxford City won. Um, happy with the 90 minutes there? Um, happy with the second 45. Um, massively improved, little tweak in shape. Um, personnel, really, really good. Showed a bit of intensity, pass selection, um, football intelligence, so much better second half. Really, really pleased. Movement, everything that we wanted. We've done that in the first half. We win the game quite comfortably against the side of four from a, a really good first half, I thought. Um, but yeah, please, listen, we, you know, it was late in the day, but it was thoroughly deserved. We had enough chances to win that game in the second half quite easily. Um, overall, please, yeah, a little frustrated with the first half performance, if I'm being honest. That's not quite us. But the second half was was really us, like, you know, and we thoroughly deserved the equaliser, I thought. I mean, we started at the beginning. Um... Jarvis obviously not starting obviously on the team sheet what what was the reason for that with a sunk in the he, he just tweaked his hamstring in the, in the warm up like you yeah. know we didn't want to take any chances with him with so many games coming up as we are doing with so many players really if it was two weeks to go that would be a totally different line up tonight um, because we get them through it we push them and get them through it but with 10 weeks and 20 games we've, we've just got to be so careful with everybody that small injuries don't turn into three four week injuries because we just cannot afford to do it with our small squad at the moment I mean, as you say, there's quite a shift in the lineup, sort of from a couple of weeks back to now. Yeah. I mean, is that the main reason for it? It, it is. We, we want to rotate. We need to get minutes into a lot of people, um, you know, especially Dylan and Cam, who haven't had huge amounts of minutes for quite a while, and, and they offer us great, great legs, and they did so well on Saturday. So we're really pleased with them again tonight. Like you know, Cam got a little knock. Um, so no, really good. Um, but yeah, the lineup is going to change quite readily now. You know, week in, week out, it's going to be game in, game out. If we if we do play the same team twice this year, I'll be very surprised. I mean, as you say, sort of a better second forty-five. The first forty-five probably wasn't your best um, you've seen, really. I mean, it was quite uh, a frustrating one. Yeah, we're very frustrating. We were a little bit flat, but I think you've got to give them some credit as well. Um, their midfield rotation was really good. Their, you know the way they counted was really they, were, they played really well they were the best and that's what happens in national league side that you know there's some good teams they're fourth in the league and you can see why so you know i, I understand that but uh there's certain things i don't understand in our play in the first half um but we're so much better so much better in the second half really proud of them and listen they, they kept going we kept going kept asking questions like you know and then crowd were really noisy at the end which is fantastic and sucked the ball in great finish by simsy you know he's half injured and he's got in there and got in the end of it. I mean, Oxford City haven't won five games in a row before today. Um, going in at goal behind at half time, what was said at the break? You know, was there. Well, a few words I probably can't repeat at the moment. But we, we, we changed the shape instantly. You know, we had to and um, get another person in midfield. And But yeah, listen, those, those bits tend to help a little bit. But I think it was the attitude of the boys. They're the ones who've got to do it. It's nothing to do with us too much, really. You know they've got to do it on there, and, and listen, I'm really proud of them tonight. You know they they, they stuck at their task and changed their mentality massively because that's all it's about now. Certainly for the next 20 games, 10 weeks, all about mentality. Who's the strongest mentally? Who's got the grit? And who's got what's under here? And that's what we want to see week in week out. I know they're all technically super players, fantastic. They've proved themselves. Had a great year in so many respects already, and we're in the middle of February. You know, so we just got to dig in now and keep doing the basics really, really well and keep rotating and make sure we've got minutes and people and look after players. I mean, as you say, the second 45 was so much better than the first. Do you feel like you maybe could have nicked, nicked all three definitely. points? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, there was a penalty, um, there's a handball, double handball, you know, it's, it's so easy to give. Um, yeah, listen, we had enough chances to finish that game quite easily in the second half. And, you know, even, even with 10 men. I mean, moving on to Saturday again, sort of a, a quite a challenging fixture again, sort of quite close with Dover in the table now. Um, what are your thoughts going into that game? Well, I think always these these home games are always critical. You know, we have to pick our points up at home. You know, we know how hard it is to to play to play away. Dover, I should imagine, will come overnight. You know, they'll come down Friday. You know, um, and it's very difficult to look at the league table. You know, and I think we'll look at the results tonight, and you'll see some odd ones where you know. You wouldn't have thought 18th would beat third or whatever. I don't. I don't know what the results are tonight, but you just got to go out and play what's in front of you, and you've got to turn up on the day, and you've got to turn up for 90 minutes in the National League South. And um, we did it for 45 tonight. Got a point. We do it for 90. We win this game quite easily. Well, it's great speaking to you, Adam. Uh, we'll see you again on Saturday. Cheers, Dan. <laughs>